Don't make me write a letter or an email. A jeep, a drone, and an old man. The definition of the word, archaeology. The study of human history, and prehistory, through the excavation of sites, and the analysis of artifacts and other physical remains. Howdy everybody. I've got a new idea for a new series I want to try. New series I want to start. Still concerning the battleship Texas, but here's what I want to do. On YouTube and throughout the internet, you can find scores and scores of videos about the battleship Texas. When she was built, her crew, when she served, what she did, when she went in as a museum ship, all my videos since she's been a museum ship, and there's others just like mine. Most of them uh, start to feel repetitive to me anyway. Maybe not to you, but to me they start to feel repetitive. So here's what I'm gonna do. There's not a lot of information, I guess, on YouTube about the crew or about the minute, tiny little minute details about the ship itself, about maybe a bell that was found hiding behind the corner somewhere or little tiny incidentals that history has forgotten. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to start a series. Still going to do the Battleship Texas updates, but I'm going to start a series called Battleship Texas Photo Archaeology. Well, okay. Battleship Texas, photo archaeology. Yeah, you get it. So anyway, here's how that's going to work. I'm going to choose a picture. As a matter of fact, here in a minute, I'll show you the one I'm using this, this go-round. I'm going to choose a picture. And photographs, as we all know, are of a subject. There's a man, a weapon, a car, a house. Always a subject in the photo. But all my life, I've really found photos to be most interesting for what ended up in the photo that was not intended to be in the photo. A picture of a man, but what's in his background? What's in his surroundings? What's going on around him? What's the story of that photo? It's not just a picture of a man. It's not just a picture of a house. It's not just a picture of this, that, or the other thing. That, that photo, each photo, tells a story. Just like they say, a photo is worth a thousand words. That's because the background in a photo contains the real information of the photo. And that's what we're going to look at. We're going to take one photo at a time, enlarge it, enhance it, and look at it very, very closely. Find out what's in that photo. These are going to be photos of the crew itself. Now, although in all these photos, I'm sure the crew is going to be the main subject of the photo. And we'll look at that, but what we're really looking at is what's going on around cr the crew. What's behind the crew? What are they wearing? What are they doing? Do they look happy, sad, confused? What's going on in the entirety of the photo, not just the subject of the photo? So I'm going to enlarge those photos, look at them very closely, and discover what we can discover. Now, I am not a photo expert. I'm not an expert about anything. I know a lot about a lot. I'm not an expert about anything, just like everybody else. Anybody that claims they're an expert about something has given up on learning. So I'm going to post down in the comments, you know where those are, the link to the photo I'm going to be reviewing. I'll, I re will review that photo in about a week's time. That gives you time to look at the photo yourself. See what you see in the photo. Then on, when I upload my video, see if I found what you found. Did you find something I didn't find? Here's the photo I'll be doing. The link, like I say, will be down in the description. Download the photo yourself. Take a real close look at it. See what kind of 
oddities or events or things in the background or about the sailors themselves that you can find. Then watch my video in about a week's time and compare. Did I find what you found? Did you find what I found? Did I find something you didn't find? Did you find something I didn't find? What's the story I see in that photo? What's the story you see in that photo? It's going to be great. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be interactive for you guys instead of just sitting watching a video. You can ahead of time look at the photo and participate more or less in, in the video. So I'm really looking forward to the first one and I hope you are too. Sounds like great fun to me. Don't forget to look down in the description of this video. Find the link to the photo. Do your own research and let's compare. If you're looking forward to participating, then hit that subscribe, not that one, that subscribe button. <laughs> Ain't used that in a while. Ring that bell so you'll get notifications and let's compare. And yes, I still have root beer jelly beans. I still have root beer, although I must tell Kroger, not Kroger, I must tell HEB, you guys stopped carrying my Zuber Fizz of any flavor. Put it back on the shelves so I can stop buying this crap. I want my Zuber Fizz back. Don't make me write a letter or an email. I ain't going to do that. I ain't going to do that. Y'all stock what y'all want to stock. You're your own business. I'll still buy root beer, but I want my Zuber Fizz, man. I want my Zuber Fizz. It's been a Jeep, a drone, and an old man. We'll be seeing you when we compare pictures next time.